Recording in progress. Good afternoon, everyone. I have to be careful when I talk. Sometimes I talk loud, and I adjust the microphone accordingly, so I'll do my best to talk softly like this and talk very romantic to this very special virtual musical presentation. But let me get started with some music and tell you why I'm doing what I'm doing today. What do you think? Is that okay? Thumbs up, everybody. Oh, let me change the camera view to here. Spotlight. There we go. Now it's all good. Okay, Joni, maybe she'll keep an eye on the waiting room for me. And here we go. It warmed up here. Thank you, thank you. Please hold the applause. Is that okay here? I have a, I have a guest here today. Is that volume okay? <clears throat> Tolerable? Okay. It's a little tricky when you do the volume checks on these because, <laughs> well, you guys all know we've been doing this long enough. So today I am playing some music uh, featuring the Lowry Patriot. And the reason why is because I think I put it in the email but we've never actually had a concert, demo, whatever you like to call it, presentation featuring the Lowry Patriot. <clears throat> now the Lowry Patriot, as you can see, has a very similar casing in the, uh, the cabinet and cosmetics of the Symphony and the Sterling. And that is because those cabinets are all of the same, the same style of cabinets. What was really great about the Patriot and it was introduced <clears throat> it was, was First of all, it was the Sterling cabinet to begin with, but there was a lot of beautiful things that happened with it. So you're going you're gonna to get a little bit, since I am playing a Patriot, you'll get a little bit of a taste of some of the goodies that the Sterling has, uh, as well as a Patriot, because it's rare that we get to feature a Sterling on, on um, Zoom as well. So I'm going to take care of it all at once today, <laughs> or as most, of, most of it as I can. So first of all, the, the Sterling cabinet, uh, when the Sterling uh, cabinet was introduced, um, oh, let's see, mute all here. It was the first time that we actually introduced, um, this was the, called the uh, virtual orchestra, where we had the silver panel. And what we discovered was that, or why do I say we, Lowry discovered when they switched the way they made the panels, was having the silver panel with the black uh, print. <laughs> Got to keep an eye on that there. Um, uh, it was much easier to see in the eyes. It was also, what I also noticed about the silver panel, and I actually discovered this right off the bat, Depending on the lighting in the house, if the, uh, w when, when there's a lot of direct sunlight, there's no lighting needed on the panel. It makes it very easy to see. When there is not any lighting, 
Let's see here. Look at this. Now, I just darkened up the room here. You could see they made it very easy. Look how bright and easy that is to see. Can you see that from there? Even Brenda could see it, and, and she said she's blind, and she can see it now. That's how good. No, I'm just kidding. <coughs> so visually, they made it very easy to see. The other thing was this is the first time they actually introduced. Uh, it kind of started on the. It kind of started on the. Uh, <laughs> um, it kind of started on the Imperial with the double windows, but they took it a step further with the panel. But we also have now. We have four windows. You actually have two screens here. You have the screen here and your screen here. So basically, it's feeding your information all the time. It's telling you what sounds, what rhythms, what sound is always being used, what rhythm is being used. They made it very simple and easy to use. Now, I'm going to continue on and playing some musical styles here for you. One of my favorite, well, I might say that a lot today. One of my favorites, one of my favorites. But when the Sterling was introduced, they introduced a couple of new styles under the big band foxtrot category and um, one of them was called smooth foxtrot which was really clever because it's actually got a big band feel to it and this was is this is like a combination of benny goodman and um who's the other famous clarinet <coughs> Artie shaw and Pen benny goodman um they uh, one had the arrangement and one performed it of the song begin the begin and you're going to hear a little bit of that, and here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold the applause, please. Hold the applause. No, stop it. <coughs> this wasn't part of the show, but I just thought of this. So now some of you, um, I don't know if you could see. Joni, are you there? Okay, now I want you to look at this individual right here, everybody. I had the privilege. There she is. Say hi, wave. Joni, wave. No, there you go. All right. That person there, a lot of you know Joni. She's on Zoom a lot with a lot of us. But when the Lowry Sterling was originally introduced, she and a fellow artist, the late and great Seth Rye, featured the Sterling at our presentations. And I remember <coughs> there was so much to show on the virtual orchestras that we had to do breakout sessions, part one, two, and break it up into small groups to get close up and personal and then come back. I mean, there was so much to show. <clears throat> and this was the first time, believe it or not, that the Fake It feature was introduced. And boy, it was a big deal when it was introduced <clears throat> because they were showing off, hey, if you have the Fake It button, you could do this and that. So I remember in the small group that I was in, I was... Everybody got kind of close and they're like, oh, what is that? And, and then they said, show off the fake it button. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, okay, I'll do that in a minute. And then there was one of these new styles that came out. Let's see if I have, uh-oh, did my camera freeze? Someone's trying to call me. Yes, you're frozen. Okay, how about now? There you are. Okay, I put my camera on. Uh, <clears throat> my phone on airplane mode so 
All right, so here is a song. Let's see if I hope it's in. Oh, here it is. I didn't have this music with me at the time, and there was this new style called Satin Lady. And you probably already know Satin Lady might be great for what song? Satin Doll. And that's uh, Duke Ellington, right? And so a lot of people were going, yeah, show, let me see that satin, uh, let me play that style, let me hear that. And <clears throat> I only knew half of the song on top of my head, and I kind of haven't played it in a while, so I'm not using music. And then I said, well, I don't know the second part. And they said, well, use the fake it. And I thought, okay. And I turned around, and I started doing it. But if you just saw my face, my face was like, oh, please make this work, please make this work. <laughs> Because I never did it, and I had was like seven or eight people around me. So what I'm going to do, and I'll tell you what, it worked out really nicely. So here's, I'm going to use the music partway through, and then I'm going to pretend I don't have the second page, okay? And then what I'm going to do is activate the fake it feature and continue playing the chords. And watch how perfectly it kind of works with this setting. So here we go. I had fake it on. Let me turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> I'll turn it back on when I'm supposed to. Here we go. Take two. <laughs> Brenda, are you laughing at me? She's laughing at me over here. Here comes fake it. Got a little Duke Ellington trill in there. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, you know, a lot of the models have this wonderful, <laughs> this wonderful style. They just can't keep on muting. <laughs> I'm laughing, folks, because I have a few people that keep on muting. Um, <clears throat> this rhythm style, the first time we heard it was actually the Imperial, the Imperial slash Sterling era. And it's a style that went on to be on many of the models, uh, obviously the flagship model. Let me see if I have the music in here. And I'll play it. <laughs> That's all right. We'll have a fun show. I actually, I know it without the music. But the style is called, let me select it here. It's called Wonderful World. And folks, when I play this today, I'm going to just play it through one time without any special changes. I'm just going to use the presets that are built in. But here what was really clever on the Patriot when they brought that style back into the Patriot. Um, what happened was these presets they improved on them so when i go to number two you're going to hear this beautiful tenor saxophone and you you could listen closely for it you could actually hear the breath when they're blowing in the saxophone the way they bill curry made the sound it's just absolutely marvelous so i'll play 
partway through, I'll switch to preset number two, and then I'll finish with this grand uh, finale of strings. So here we go. Armstrong there. Listen closely. Thank you, thank you. Whew, I've been rehearsing that last part. Boy, Jerome, I, I sang that last part almost as good as you do. Uh, <laughs> he's sitting right over there. <coughs> Actually, we'll have Jerome coming out in a little bit. Not now. He looks nervous over there. Can I take my jacket? This is a little warm in here. Can I, I forgot. Arizona gets a little warm pretty quick. All right. <coughs> now. Something else that was magnificent when the Sterling was introduced in the virtual orchestras, that was the first time that they introduced the pianist and guitarist concept. And some of the best pianist and guitar styles were introduced on the Sterling. I like to play them all, but I'm not going to. <laughs> They're absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to reach over and push the pianist and guitarist category. And on the pianist category, they have all... Gosh, I really want to play a lot of these, but we don't have time today. But I'll just pick the very first one. The very first one is really clever. Um, I started off with a, uh, a Ray Charles hit song. I'll do another song. This style is called 6-8 Piano. Now, here's what's really clever. Here's a little educational moment for those of you who have an instrument like this. On all of the pianist and guitar styles, and I want to say this is about... 90% of the time or more. It's really clever. If you put rhythm preset or style setup, <coughs> rhythm preset zero, you start off with just a real good classic piano sound, a piano background, and then a light touch of a bass to accompaniment. That's it. Very simple. All right? Number 10 is typically the same setup but with the band. Sometimes it's just a drummer or a couple more musicians, okay? So they're the same. One is very just simple, basic, piano, light touch of the bass. Rhythm preset one and two <coughs> are two different sound changes. Usually it's like a piano with strings or electric piano or something 
in that same genre of, of, of sounds, but the background is still just piano, okay? And then you go from three to nine, and three to nine has all of the other sound changes, but with the band, okay? So when I post this up on our YouTube, you can go back and, and, uh, uh, and re-watch that part. That, it was kind of, there was a little bit of, there were thought process and consistency in how they made the presets. So I'll start off with just a, the zero, and then I'll switch over to number 10, and then you hear the drummer come in, and then maybe I'll switch to another preset during this. So here we go. Number 10, same thing. But now we have the band. Oh, thank you, thank you. Big girl. It's amazing. I have one student here watching, and she can applaud like 30 people. Uh, you're truly amazing, her and Jerome, actually. <clears throat> now, at the very end, it went back to zero. There's, but you kind of see, there was just a really clever, clever way of how they programmed those. And the other group of styles, this was also the first time that the guitarist category, we have, oh my gosh. We have from rockabilly to guitar 4-4 four, four, to Latin guitar, worship guitar, electric standard guitar, swing, jazz guitar, all sorts of great guitar styles. One of my favorites, actually, I can't say all, one of my favorites because they're all kind of my favorite depending on the style of music. You know, if I was doing uh, rockabilly, for example, that's great for some of those crazy little thing called love type songs. And uh, But, you know, I love my Latin. And the Latin guitar, what was really clever about this is there's in this the concept works the same the way the presets are programmed are very similar um, one is in this case is being a guitar sound so you're going to hear just some really good classic nice guitar acoustic guitars or spanish guitars number 10 is actually with the band and then one and two are two other changes with just a guitar in the background and then three to nine 
changes all the sounds from organs to strings and so forth. But I'm going to take a little step further here. One of the things I forgot to mention on the pianist styles, <coughs> and actually a lot of the styles when on the pa Patriot, what they did is the golden harp was is a feature that's loved by many. Now it's not a feature that we use all the time. Uh, sometimes when I'm not using rhythms, I use golden harp. When I'm using rhythms, I don't use golden harp that much, just on, a, on occasion. And it's probably what it should be used for. But I don't know if you noticed through the years, I know some of you, I uh, recognize some of you, I know some of you have upgraded an organ or two over the years, right? Maybe three times. Someone's putting their hand up. They're saying six times, uh, seven, eight. Do I hear eight? Do I hear nine? <laughs> anyway, so along the way, here's what you may have noticed, may not notice, depending on what, where you're at in the line and what model you have. When the Golden Heart feature came out, <clears throat> there was a genius button attached to it, and you can change that Golden Harp sound to another sound. So you can have the Golden Harp patterns, but if you... If you want, you can put, you know, piano, guitar, or something like that. But it always defaulted on some of the models be to bells. And the reason was kind of a safe sound to default to. And then you can change it. Well, as, the, as evolution took over and Bill Curry got more creative and having more capabilities with technology, he put a little bit more time into changing those golden harp in the geniuses so that when you activate it, there might have been sound that went well for that style, okay? So it wasn't always just bells, for example. So what I'm going to do is play the style, and I, I'm going to play two introductions. One, I'm going to start the intro one, and I'm going to play the second one, which is one of my favorites. But when I get to it, and I get to one of the presets, I'm going to reach over and hit the golden harp and listen closely for it. It's going to be, instead of a harp, it'll give me a different sound that fits the style of music, okay? So here's how it normally comes up. You can play it this way, which is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I don't know why when I play that style, I, just, I don't know why I feel like making that face, you know? It's kind of like a riba, it's like a romantic line. <laughs> But I'm going to put on intro two and listen. Pretty cool, huh? I like that. Let me do that again. Here we go. Here's number 10, the band comes in. Now let me do that again. Now this time I'll bring in the golden harp. All right, ready? But instead of the golden harp, it's gonna be something different. Preset change. Now let's put the golden harp again and listen. Ready? Here we go. Now it's a piano sound. It changes automatically. Back to zero. Oh, thank you. 
Isn't that beautiful? Pretty clever. Now, I'm just using the presets that are built into the organ. Well, as I, I can spend hours here and not still show everything, so I kind of have to pick and choose the, the things that I like to show off today. But <clears throat> when the Patriot was introduced, Larry had, I think, they had a challenge that they succeeded in and they overcame. And that is, they had the same cabinet and as the Sterling, the same layout, okay? And they didn't want to just put a nice little fancy label on here and say, hey, we got a new organ, spend a lot of money. They had to do some changes in the sounds and the styles and the, <clears throat> in the memory and so forth. And so you're going to hear some of that. And since I played a Latin piece, uh, this, I'll, I'll switch over to some of the new styles that was introduced on the Patriot in the Latin category. And this was like a new style. It, the flavor is a style of Latin music that's really been around, but this band repopularized it, remodernized it back, I want to say, in the 80s. Now, some of you may know the name Gloria Estevan. Was she in the 80s, the Miami Sound Machine? And she had a lot of great hits during that time. But what was really clever about that time for her is they took a very well-loved style of Latin music and they just gave it a little modern flair to it. And what was really cool about this, and, and there's like three of these Miami styles and I'm going to feature one of them. But what's really clever about this is if some people want to go for some of the newer Latin styles, this works great. But if you're kind of one of those, you know what, I kind of like some of the good old-fashioned Latin numbers, this works great too. So you really have the best of both worlds. So that's what I'll do. I'll start off with a style here. The style's called, each of these new Miami styles is called Miami Dash, and then they have a word to follow it. One is called Miami Dash uh, Beat, one is called Miami Dash Rhythm, and one is called Miami Dash Conga. I'm going to do the conga one, and I'm going to play the song that... Uh, this was inspired by and then I'll go back and do some other Latin with it as well and you can see you can go new old or in between or both here we go it's also a great style if you want to burn up some calories right <laughs> Jerome and the crew here they they decided to order a pizza right before my show so and I had to eat it real fast and I feel like I gained a little bit so I'm gonna have to burn off some of these calories here. No extra charge for the dancing, folks.
Thank you. So the first song was Conga uh, by the Miami Sound Machine. And actually, I decided to play a song called Miami Beach Rumba. <coughs> I figure it was kind of appropriate to at least give it a shot. So anyway, you could play a lot of great Latin songs with it. It's obviously, obviously very wonderful. Obviously, The Patriot too, by the way, recently featured this song uh, in a concert. We do this all the time. This song's... This is one of these styles. It was, it's kind of an interesting style because it became so liked and well loved. At one time in the in the making of the Lowry organs, they took the style and they put it in some of the other models in a kind of a a, a, a recon. What's the, what's the word? And they've taken a model and they added some new ones and some of the smaller size and they threw the style in. But the next model up didn't have it. And I know many students said, I can't get that next organ up unless it has this rhythm. And I was, you know, kind of surprised at how much people love the style. Um, Jerome had a student here. You, you'll know who I'm talking about when I mention the style. She got an instrument, got the next one up at all these goodies, and it didn't have this rhythm on it. And we tried like heck to find a comparable rhythm. Um, and the style is called the Circle of Lions. And uh, if many of you are familiar with the song Circle of Life, written by Elton John and Tim Rice, this is when the first time we got to hear the style called Circle of Lions. And the introduction, everything is just like from The Lion King. And this is absolutely a gorgeous arrangement of it, just using the built-in preset. So here we go.
think, right? <laughs> in the ending. And I have to tell you, if you ever get a chance to see the musical live in person, I've seen it twice in my lifetime. They actually came to Tucson recently, and um, I saw it once in, in, on Broadway in New York, and then when it came to the TCC here, I bought tickets, and it was the same experience. Musically, it was just a great show altogether. But, <clears throat> you know, I, one thing I haven't talked about today, shame on me, shame on me, is, you know, we talk about it all the time, a wonderful thing called presets and category presets. And gosh, I'd be here all day if I showed you all some of the new goodies. But <clears throat> obviously when the Patriot is introduced, they introduced some key presets in here um, that was well loved by many. And um, there, there are four new categories and then there are several new categories from the, on the Sterling. Um, the Sterling, by the way, uh, and the Imperial actually, was the first time that they introduced what was called the bank presets uh, that can also be found in the Moore. And the benefit of that, for those of you who have it, if you don't have it, this will be a benefit to put on your wish list someday, is a lot of times we encourage changing and customizing presets and taking others. And, you know, we give presets to our students all the time. To, you know, we, and, and, but what's there from the factory, there's some great sounds in there. You know, your A bank has just good traditional Lowry organ sounds. The B bank has a lot of great organ sounds that are in the, the tradition of the Hammond sound. The C bank is great for hymns. You got from small, uh, softer church organ sounds to the great big church organ sounds. D has got a lot of great symphonic sounds with pianos and ch cellos and et cetera. And E are the novelty. <clears throat> but what happens is if you change those, and you decide you want to use some of those bank presets, a lot of people find themselves resetting the organ, et cetera. I like to use presets a lot, and so I'm constantly customizing these. But I also like some of the other banks. So on the more category, they actually duplicated A, B, C, D, and E in another place of the organ. So you have, you have them in both places. So if you use them here and you want to use the banks, you don't have to go resetting the organ every single time. Then there are some new categories. We have Theater 2 US, Theater 3 UK, uh, and finales, all designed by the, the amazing Jim Vogelman. And he also created these next group of sounds um, you have from Crescendo Organ. And what was really clever about these, the presets go from soft to full. And on the screen, it describes it that way. Closers are just what it sounds like. They're great presets that you want to close off of a number with a be either a big band sound or an organ sound or strings or whatever. you got a variety of those. And opers is the opposite. you got great opening sounds. The category I'm going to feature that I love to play, I play this every now and then in concert, is a category called strings. Now, this was kind of interesting. When this was first introduced, oops, I thought, how can, how can Bill Curry, how can they come up with some um, – Better strings. I always thought that Lowry did a phenomenal job, even since the 90s. The, the good old classic symphonic string sounds. I always thought, boy, how can they improve that? And every time they came out with a new generation of organ, they made the strings sound better and better and better. So when Jim Vogelman, <coughs> I think it was Jim Vogelman, who created these sounds, I thought he gave me a whole new appreciation of some of these great string type instruments and other instruments you would find in, in, in that type of uh, orchestra. So the first one here, um, <clears throat> I've never been a huge fan. It has to be the right song for me to hear it or the right way it sounds. I, I've never really used the cello that much. And I think it's because of the way some of the instruments had them. Well, they have a new cello on here. I'm going to start off with the cello. And it says cello and an exclamation point. I don't know what that means. Maybe exciting. <laughs> okay? It just means better. So I'm going to start off with that cello. When you hear the cello, if you think about any musical instrument, if you play a note on a certain parts like a guitar or if you play a, a wind instrument a certain way, 
uh, when someone plays a saxophone, sometimes they blow it a certain way, it gives it a squeak sound, they do it intentionally. Um, cellos and so forth, when you hear this, the notes resonate differently. The harder or softer you hit it, Is that the organ in my stomach? I don't know. <laughs> no, it was the organ. <laughs> this is being recorded. I wouldn't do that on camera. So you're going to hear some beautiful, we'll start off with a cello. I'll switch some traditional strings. A bassoon. I've never used a bassoon before until actually this group of presets came out. And then the, the pizzicato strings, you know, the thing you pluck, and et cetera, et cetera. So here we go. <laughs> I'm making that head motion. But <laughs> I feel like I had to do it. <laughs> Listen to this beautiful choir string combination. Thank you. That cool. Some neat sounds in there. <clears throat> now, I knew right about this time I would have to go potty. No, I'm just kidding. Because I'm going to have Jerome come play um, two quick numbers and then I'll close it off with a song. Okay? And they feature um, two styles that I've heard him play these songs in concert many times and I went, can you play part of that song in this concert using this new style? Can you play this? So he's going to come up and feature. Why don't you come on over, Jerome? And what's the first one you're going to do? Elton or Frankie? Good. Okay, so we're, now some of you may know the name Elton John. I know it's way before your time. <laughs> Elton John had a lot of great hits. And so there's a couple of new styles that Patreon introduced that feature these. And if Jerome says anything, I'll have to repeat it back to you because he doesn't have the microphone. Uh, I'll, I'll take my preset, put it back to normal there for you. Okay, so the first one he's going to feature is one of the new gospel styles. Go to gospel. You can call it a gospel style. It's in the gospel category. And the style is called Soulful 4-4, but when you hear the introduction... Towards the, the first part, it was pretty clever how Bell, Bill did this. My head's cut off. Um, <clears throat> I'm the headless organ musician. <laughs> when you hear the beginning of this, it starts off like a traditional, nice traditional gospel. But then it go, gives you a little bit of an indication of Elton John's, uh, what's the name of the song? Uh, 
Don't let the sun go down, shining, shining on me. It's a long title. Don't let the sun. Okay. So here we go. Jerome Johnson, everybody. Big round of applause, big round of applause. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, watch out, Elton. Here comes Jerome. That was a good, that's a great style. Now, another one of my favorites that I've heard you play a lot is a song from uh, Frankie Valley, if I'm not mistaken. He does a song. Well, he's got a lot of great hits, doesn't he? <clears throat> but what is the one that, he, something about his eyes, can't get in his eyes off of you? What is his? Jerome just said, can't take my eyes off of you. And, and if you notice, Jerome is looking at the organ. He can't take his eyes off of the organ. He's just so elated that he has a patriot. So he's dedicating this song to the patriot. I can't take my eyes off you. So <laughs> take it away, Jerome. A big round of applause. Mr. Jerome Johnson has left. What's that? What style was he using? Caught you off guard there? <laughs> oh, picture of the priestess. Oh, no. I had to. All right. Well, that was fun, right? I got one more number we'll play here. But first of all, did you enjoy the show, everybody? Show yes. of hands, thumbs up. <clears throat> all right. That's good. A lot of thumbs up. A lot of cameras, too. So this, I'll finish up with one last song here. But first, I want to tell you thank you for uh, joining us today and uh, hoping you had some fun, some great music. And it's, it's rare that we see a patriot these days. They're extremely rare. Are they? <clears throat> I think I can't tell you the last time we've actually had an actual patriot in our store. 
So what I would do want to tell you for those who might be interested, we actually have, this is kind of really bizarre, but we actually have a Patriot in Arizona and one in Florida, both of which were acquired not through your usual trade-in, because um, that's the way we like to do it, is trade them in uh, and people upgrade. Um, and as many of you know, with the exception of a few models like you know, Marquis, Arias, and what have you, uh, when we get a phone call, someone asking, you know, I've got such and such organ, would you like to buy it? We pretty much are into, in the mode that we, we don't buy organs from the private market. Um, within, a 30 day, within 30 days apart in Arizona and Florida, we actually, uh, I'm going to say lucked into a rare opportunity where someone had this patriot and one in Florida, same, similar circumstance, where they were in a very time-sensitive nature, and they said, listen, I've got to move the instrument. I'll sell it to you for, you know, and they told me. And it was one of those no-brainers that I went, well, if you're going to sell it to me for that, <laughs> I'll buy it. <laughs> because then I can turn around and offer it to one of our students at an extremely affordable price point compared to what they normally retail for. So uh, if you ha have been thinking maybe someday I'd like to get into you know, that Sterling Patriot or even Symphony class without having to put out a very large amount of money. This is a win-win opportunity for you. So uh, we have one of these in uh, Arizona, and there's one in Florida uh, as well, for, for depending on where you're at. And, of course, uh, just as a reminder, some of you, we do ship all across the nation, as some of you know. <laughs> Uh, we've shipped many organs <laughs> all across the U.S. And, uh, and some islands and out of the country and what have you. So uh, I'm going to encourage you, if, if, if a patriot is kind of a step up or two or three from where you're normally at, it's worth at least getting with your personal assistant to find out the details, okay? And I'm going to encourage my staff members to uh, let our customers know because one of the things I found, discovered many years ago... <laughs> Jerome is shouting back here, call me, call me. I thought you were singing a blondie tongue. Call me. Um, anyway, um, one of the things I learned years ago, very early on in my career, was, uh, and this was actually a, a real story that happened. There was, at that time, there was a model, kind of close to the top of the line. And I had a student, and I was very new in the business, so I was just learning. And I approached him several times over, you know, several months. And I got to the point where I felt like, okay, maybe I shouldn't approach him as much. We ran into a unique opportunity then, sold the organ. We made an announcement to our classes and the students. And that, that student came up to me afterwards, cornered me, and legitimately got angry at me <laughs> because I didn't let them know <laughs> about the opportunity. I, I was like, well, I'm sorry. I did, just didn't want to keep bothering about it. And he said, no, you should have told me. So I've, I've, re I've learned very, very early in my career, if there's a very rare, unique opportunity, it's better to let everyone know and give you the opportunity to um, uh, make a decision and find out. So I'm going to close off with um, a song. <laughs> I might need some music for this one. I might goof up a little bit here, but... And it's kind of fitting because as Jerome was sitting here playing the song and, and he was playing, I can't take my eyes off of you, I saw in him this, the, he, 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 he's like, gosh, this, I, boy, you're the one that I want. So I thought, you know, the next song I should finish playing is a song called, You're the One That I Want. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No extra charge for that, folks. <clears throat> and there's a style here called You're the One. But I'm having a little fun with this. So many of you are familiar with the, the musical and the movie Grease, and this was featured in it, uh, You're the One That I Want. So you're going to hear a little bit of that. But I love this style because every time I feature it, I always show people I like to do a little 50s rock and roll with it as well. So let's see if I could ooh, see those tiny notes up there. Here we go. <laughs> Encore, here we go.
Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, we hope you enjoyed this very special presentation and music of the Lowry Patriot, everybody. Another round of applause. Ah! <laughs> well, and as always, stay safe, keep playing music, and mwah, and call your PA. <laughs>